Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of RL Craft. I know it has been a while, but uh, I have been working on this world and I have not forgotten about RL Craft. Uh, in the meantime, I have just been busy as of late, and it's been kind of tough to do RL Craft. I was unaware that RL Craft had seasons, and it's, I mean, this mod pack's already hard enough, and winter just makes it harder because now I can, like, freeze to death, which is awful. So I have been kind of just hibernating, trying to wait it out, but it, it does not look like it wants to really go anywhere. But I built ourselves a, uh, or I built myself a storage room. So just right under the stairs of the basement now, we can now walk down here into a nice storage room. I just have a couple chests here full of stuff I could need. And then I have been, as you can see, I have a lot of XP. That is because I have been working on what is behind this door. So I, I realized that that comment that told me that wheat farms were a good source of XP uh, told me to build it underground and I didn't do that. So this is now my giant wheat farm in which I have been using, so there was a cave here. Um, so this is now my giant wheat farm where I have been collecting lots and lots of XP. And let me tell you, it's it's great. There's <laughs> there's a lot of wheat too. So you get a lot of XP going through here. In fact, I kind of need to harvest. There are a few areas for where it just isn't growing and I don't know exactly why. But yeah, there was a ravine and a cave going through and around here. So I just, I started building and building and building. And then I just put dirt all over here. Um, this is really, I guess this is really the only area that I built was the entrance here. But I like how it looks. I mean, it's all cobblestone, but cobblestone doesn't look bad with this texture pack. So I don't mind too much. And then up here, we have another area. This is kind of where I've just been hibernating, just because I used lava for the lights in here, so it heats me up. Because I can still get really cold underground, but the crops grow, still, while we're underground and it's winter. But I've been working on this room, I have no idea what I'm going to use it for. But it's just a big, open, and very dark room, which is probably not a good thing. I should probably light up the rest of this. Also, I hear something. What is that? Uh, Alright. <laughs> I heard something. That didn't sound good, but sounds like it's above ground. So, yeah, that is what I have been doing uh, while I have been uh, busy and not really able to record. Let me fill up my water here. I tried to... I think this would look a lot cooler. I mean, I wish the water was a little bluer so you could actually see it, but I tried to make it look like, I don't know, some kind of spring. Yeah, it was probably that dark nymph, I bet. But, I don't know. I wanted to make it look like water had gotten down here and it was, like, flowing from the top. That, like, that's why the crops were growing here. That That's what I was going for. It kind of not really worked, I guess, mainly just because of... You know, the water is very clear in this, unless in very high mass quantities. So, yeah, and I, uh, I also killed a few witches, so I have these potions here. I've kind of, I don't, I don't need the night vision potion, as far as I know. I'm not going to be needing that anytime soon, but I'm going to keep this regen potion on me, on the off chance something happens, and, like, I need health immediately. So, with this XP, though, I think we can finally... Level up our defense stat. Now, this is going to take, like, half my XP, right? Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, that's good. I should be able to use diamond armor, though, now. If I am not mistaken. The only problem is, is I don't know if I can really wear it right now. Just because of uh, how cold it is. Which is why, if you look over here in my JEI tab, I was looking at getting this heating goo. You can apply it to armor. It'll keep you warmer. But I have no slime balls nor do I have magma blocks so that would be kind of tough so how cold is this gonna make me it's, okay these are all totally fine okay um I'm a little cold I guess which isn't fantastic but 
I can now utilize diamond armor. Now, what do I want to start working on next? I also leveled up my building skill enough so that I can access anvils, which should be very helpful. So actually, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, don't we have some enchanted books here? Yeah, we do. Power 3, long cast 3, lesser smite, power, reduce cooldown. Well, regardless, I want to put this protection 3. Actually, that's right. I have two sets of diamond armor from, I think, one from the village and one for the, from the tower. Yeah. Does this one have something better? Protective. You know what? I think I want that. I should check this armor. What is? What are you? Just regular? All right. I think there's something called a tough. An armor toughness. Okay, I'd rather have that. That'll... I, I, I'm not exactly certain what armor toughness has ever done. But I'll take it, I guess. And I'll take this protective. I think there's like a table for reforging. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, reforging station, if I'm not mistaken. Building 8, that's it? Obsidian crafting table... Stone slab and an anvil. Well, we have lots of anvils. I have one in... Oh, I forgot. I have one in here. Um, let me grab one of these. That's right. I keep forgetting. I have to shift to pick things up. It's been a while. So, let me take a look at... Spawn undead guy. Oh, that's not good. Crafting table, we got that. Do we have obsidian? I know we've gotten some off of killing mobs, but have I used all of it? I have not. Wonderful. That is excellent. Uh, and stone slabs. Do I have any stone? I do. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, now with this reforging station, too, I should be able... Do I have a crafting table up here? I do. Perfect. So, with this reforging station, I should be able to reforge things now. That doesn't look right. Did I... Is this the right... Something looks off about this item. Um, here, let me... Be gone, armor stand. Uh, let me just put this chain armor. Because sometimes the qualities on your armor are not good like this chain has heavy less speed why would you ever want that this has masterful though i didn't know that which is really good because we get more armor more armor toughness and more luck i don't i i'm not exactly sure what luck does either let's put this down there that is the that's pretty goofy looking i'm not gonna lie <laughs> um so if i say now protective i think i'll keep that on my chest plate I don't really see a reason not to, and before I do that as well, I am going to... I want to enchant this diamond chest plate. I know there's better armor in the game, but... I want... I want to be protected. I'm... I'm sick and tired of dying, guys. Like... <laughs> uh, it's... No more dying. No more. <laughs> so, hopefully with this, that should be less of an issue for us. Um, do I have anything I might want to try enchanting or reforging maybe and i don't exactly know how this works um how many levels will it take me to get my attack higher because i can't use this diamond sword currently i don't have 16 attack uh let's let yeah let's level our attack so go we can keep going can i get all the way no i can't okay i'm stuck at 13 so i need three more levels a quick harvest of the wheat farm might fix that all right so i've only harvested half of the wheat farm and we're already back up to 24 levels so we doubled our xp in that time and okay this is the first time i think i fully harvested this thing or at least am going to and oh man am i filling up fast so how much more xp do we need looks like we need just a little bit more and then we should be good all right and with this i think i should have enough xp to get to level what was it 16 
Yes, I do, because I don't want to carry around too much extra XP, and now I gotta replant all this too, which is gonna be a joy. So I don't want to I don't want to harvest too much more unless I have to, just because I don't want to risk losing that XP. Although now I have these really nice, it's very nice armor, so hopefully that'll be less of a concern of ours now. But yeah, so that's why I'm not gonna harvest the rest. Okay, the wheat fields have been replanted, finally. Um, took me, took me, uh, I don't know, probably about ten minutes or so. It takes a little while, just because it's so large, but... Now, we can use diamond weapons as well, which will also benefit us greatly, so... I think, how many diamonds do we have? Six, alright. Now, I know we have a diamond sword already, but I want to look in... No. Oh. Ah, it's snowing out, that's why it's foggier up here. So, for, well, actually, first, I want to go upstairs and sleep if it's not too late. Yeah, okay, it's too late. <laughs> but, uh, I want to look into the other, because I know there are other diamond weapons. Yeah, look at all these here. I want to look into those and see which one is going to be the best for us to use. Let me put away these seeds. I am not going to need to carry seeds around on me. Also, I need to consolidate some of my wheat pretty soon here, just because I have so much of it now. I'll have to make, like, a wheat storage room. So, let's see here. Got, I guess I could always go with the diamond axe. Actually, no, I cannot go with the diamond axe, because I that's gathering 16, so. Uh, diamond fishing rod, no thanks. Diamond hammer, eh, nah, I'm alright. Uh, diamond battle axe. 10 attack damage, 1 attack speed, 1.6 attack speed. Is that the same as the axe? It is. Okay. So, I guess we could still use one, but I want to look at the deck. No, no. I don't really want to use those. Knife, Madoc. Diamond Katana. Two-handed chest damage bonus. One foe has no chest armor. Okay. Um, Saber. Same thing. Damage absorption. Damage dealt and durability from this weapon. Oh, okay. Diamond Rapier, 25% of damage taken, dealt, and durability from this weapon. Oh, so that's not a good thing, actually. Alright, that's not a good thing. So the more damage we do, the faster it wears out, actually. So that is not a good thing, actually. No armor, though, even more attack damage. Diamond Greatsword. Reach. Okay. Diamond Hammer. Diamond Warhammer. Armor Piercing. Ooh, actually. Ignores armor. Same as the sword. Uh, how expensive is this? Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay. So I think we definitely... Well, actually, okay, the Diamond Warhammer is slower, though. Diamond Halberd. Reach to 14 attack damage. Higher reach levels have more range. Breach of Foe Shield. We don't really need to worry about that. Diamond Pike. This is a little bit pricier on the diamonds. How much is the Great Sword, though? Oh, the Great... That's... That would use all of our diamonds? Okay, we don't want to do that. Diamond Lance. Writing amount, increased reach, quarter staff. You know what? I think we're going to go with the diamond halberd here. Yeah. So I need a pull. Or at least one pull. So three sticks and a string. Uh, let's go. Mob drop should have plenty of string up here. Yes, we do. And then sticks. I have sticks in here from cutting down some trees. I do need to get some more wood soon, though. I've just kind of been waiting for winter. You know what really sucks about winter, too? It stops the tree leaves from waving because of the snow that lands on them, which is super lame. So, we got ourselves a pole, and what we're making... Oh, wait, what about the glaive, though? Nah, let's go with the halberd. Yeah, let's go with the halberd. So I need four. I can use the halberd still, right? Yes, attack 16. Um, right here. One, two, three, four diamonds. That's a lot, but this is a really good weapon to have on us. 
I believe. So I think it is going to be worth the diamonds. Uh, the shield breach, whatever. The reach is going to be nice, and I can't have an offhand. So I guess no shield while I wield this. Oh, that's not too much slower. It's just a little slower. It is per That is huge. Okay. Um, and I do have enchants as well. Luck of the C3 is not going to help moisturize. Tilling makes the... Oh, I can tell what these are. A little bit. Your attacks have a very low chance to guarantee an instant kill. Ah! Okay! I'm... Long cast. Fishing rod can be cast further. Okay, whatever. Reduce cooldown. Okay, doesn't want to tell us. Alright, um... Well, I would like to put this on my, uh, halberd. Broken! It's broken! Reforge. Oh, no. Do I need to use another diamond? It's broken! What? I crafted this masterfully. Just you, 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 you... You just... SHORT! Minus one reach! This is- so it's extra reach is useless- Oh... You... 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 Look at me go. I'm using all the diamonds anyway. I'm using all- That's one of the reasons I wanted it! Because of its attack damage and the reach! Please. CHIPS! Oh, no! <laughs> That's even worse! Oh, it's slower and it does less attack damage. Oh, no. No, can I deconstruct this, Dragon's Eye? I can. Be gone. Be gone, Diamond Sword. I need not of you. Chipped. <laughs> Watch, it's gonna be even worse. <sighs> Got one diamond. Alright, here we go. Please. Pretty please. Keen! Attack speed and attack damage up! Yes! Alright, can I enchant this now? <laughs> 7 XP. That hurts. Alright, well, I'll just go harvest some more wheat, I guess. Or, actually, I wonder, actually, can I just... Do I have any other diamonds I could... No. Well, I guess I have the extra diamond armor, but I want to save that for backup, understandably. Can I get... Oh. Can I get some wheat, please? Yay, level 7. Ugh, level 7. Oh, why? Oh, now I feel obliged to go run up, grab a hoe, and fix it. Oh, I should. I re you know, I really should. I really should fix it. I okay, now, to finally... And it does keep the atomic deconstructor. That's cool. Alright, so we have a chance to instant kill. So, right? Oh, I can't check it here. But th that is what it said, so in theory now, everything has a chance to instantly die. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of RL Craft. I know it was a little bit of a, you know, a less eventful episode than they typically are, but it's kind of hard to do dungeons. Like, it's already difficult, but during the winter when I can, like, freeze to death and I don't have the things to make the heating goo... It's really difficult to do some dungeons, because it's like I start getting too far and into them, and then I start freezing to death too, and I can't stop it. So, that's kind of why I haven't been recording this, or doing, uh, or really doing anything, like, super exciting this episode. But I thought I'd give you guys a little check-in episode, and finally upgrade my weaponry and tools, and show you guys some of the progress I've been making. So... I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully by the time I get around to recording the next one, winter should be over. I love how my face is just warping and distorting because of the snow. It's supposed to, like, simulate it, like, landing on your face and then melting into water so it slightly distorts your vision, which is what that effect is for. But it looks really silly in F3. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed still, and I will see you guys in the next one.